Hi there. Well, it's uh, Friday afternoon and I just uh, got through watching my Michael Knobs videos. You know, I like the way Michael speaks. You know, it's very calming and, um, you know, it's like reading Wind in the Willows, listening to Michael talk. So I feel very calm today and I'm looking forward to going on a tiny adventure as he proscribes. Um, so I think my plan is to go to the park nearby me, because it seems like a place of nature. Reasonable calm, considering that it's New York City. I think I'll take um, a couple of my friends with me. Hey guys, here's here. Uh, first of all, let me show you both of them. These guys have just come back from getting their hair cut. Look at that. You guys look really excellent. Really good. Yes, there's nothing to sneeze at. What do you think? Shaves years off them. Um, so they have sort of the same hairstyle that I have now. Anyway, so let's see, what else are we gonna take with us? Well, <clears throat> Michael suggests that we bring some kind of uh, heated beverage and considering that it's February, um, I am going to uh, set this up here. And um, here's what I have. It is a thermos full of hot ish coffee, which I'll be bringing with me. Hopefully, oh no, it's leaking. That's not a good idea. So let me make sure the button is closed. And uh, let me mop this up. All right, so, so far, my trip is already being delayed a little bit by this, this unexpected accident, but uh, let's move on. All right, so we fixed that horrible mistake. And uh, guys, you guys ready? Ready to go out? You wanna go out? You do? Are you sure? Are you sure you want to go out? You are? You're really sure? Really sure we're going to go to the park? All right, excellent. All right, they seem to really be sure that this is a good idea. They're, they're always into tiny adventures, these guys, so they should be no exception. All right, what else do we have to take with us? Okay, so let me see. I have, uh, I take my glasses. Um, I take my sketchbook. I've got my backpack. What else? I'm gonna take um, um, this hopefully not leaking cup of coffee and a pen. And what else? Oh yes, my, my iPhone in case I wanna take some pictures. And I think that's it. I think we're ready to go. All right, let me throw on the, the old coat and let's hit the streets. Adventure time. <laughs> well, <clears throat> you'll notice that uh, I'm alone. In the end, bringing those dogs with me would not heighten my adventure. The thing about them is they're cute, and they are even cuter when they have these haircuts, but it's just madness um, when people just come over and mob us. Bad enough, you know, that, they, that everybody uh, wants to see you if you're drawing, but then when you're surrounded by, by cute wiener dogs with fresh haircuts, it's too much. So, I'm gonna go out without them, and, uh, Break the elements and have the adventure. Dogless. Well, we're off road now. We are walking through the park, which is a bit muddy, but uh, it's not actually as crowded as it could be here, possibly because it's not very warm at all. Not conducive, really. To adventure. So you have it. And my plan is to come over here past the statue of Garibaldi and Washington Square Arch and um, come over here to look at this tree. So this is a tree that is uh, kind of gnarled and like something out of Grimm's fairy tales, but it's also, as you can see, quite dead. And it's covered with these carbunculus protuberances. So it seems sort of like an interesting place to sort of sit and study for a minute. So I'm just gonna sit here and uh, study it. Set timer for 20 minutes. See the 
park is pretty empty. It is not warm out here. A woman just walked by me and said, how can you take the cold? Otherwise I'd be out here with you drawing too. Lightweight. Ha. So while it is rather cold, my face is rather red, that was very relaxing, you know? I mean, there's something about sitting there and contemplating this tree um, that has had something terribly wrong with it, but is in the most interesting way, right? I studied all the different aspects of its skin. You know, it has these sort of long, thin, very bark-like bits that are like a sort of a flowing river. And then there are other parts that are shorter and more fragmented. And then there are these bulbous bits, some of which are have little, well, if you will, knobs on them. And then there are other parts that are more prickly, like a cactus. There are parts that look like a mushroom. So all in all, it's a very strange tree. And I actually, I've drawn it a few times before, but I've never really studied it in this quiet way and tried to sort of break it down, break down its elements. You know, it's uh, it's the middle of the afternoon here in Washington Square Park, and so there are people flowing back and forth, and people stop to ask me questions. Are you a scientist? Why are you studying that tree? Oh, you're drawing? A guy came up to me and said, oh, I see you like to read. I said, really? I'm not reading. I'm drawing in a book. But anyway, so there's distractions, but despite that, I sat calmly and I kind of got into it and I wasn't really thinking about doing a finished drawing. One of the things that I liked about what Michael had done was these kind of scritchy scratchy drawings of chicken feet that he'd made. And so I sort of approached it with that in mind. It was like I'm going to take a bunch of notes, I'm going to use the drawing to get deeper and to think, to see, to feel, to connect. And, and as I was doing that, words would kind of float into my mind. You know, I was thinking about the elephant man and I thought about sort of Grimm's fairy tales. Here's this hollow tree and it sort of has that kind of fairy tale mystery to it. Um, and I also thought about kind of childhood and things like the tree that Winnie the Pooh lives in and Ernest Shepard's drawings, particular ones right at the very beginning of that book, the flyleaf illustrations, the map, you know, this beautiful line drawing. And it was just, you know, it took me out of the, out of the here and now. <clears throat> and it was a relaxing 20 minutes. I'm going to set that timer to control my my uh, time that I was committing to doing this because I wanted, I did want to keep it into a little gentle adventure rather than some mad, elaborate art project. So calming, and something that I should do more often. I should really make that a daily habit the way Michael does. I think it's very, very nice, very calming, and the pressure is gone, right? Except, of course, for the pressure of making this film. And it being Friday afternoon, which means that it's time to, you know, start doing tequila shots and guzzling beer. You can hear the police cars in the background. I'll probably end up in a patrol car after some wild adventure. So my tiny adventure's over, and now the mad debauchery of yet another Gregorian weekend can begin. Homework done, signing out. Hope you're inspired. Hope you did your homework rather than watching the silly video. <laughs>